viral science the home of creativity hey friends welcome back in this video i will show you how to make iot smart irrigation system so in this project we have multiple sensors so this is a pir sensor which is used to detect a motion activity it may be an animal or a human entering our farm next we have is this dht11 temperature and humidity sensor then we have this soil moisture sensor and we have a rain detector sensor at last we have a relay module which is used to turn on and off water pump and supply water in the farms and all this thing is controlled with a node mcu board and a blink application so let's get started this video is sponsored by ultim designer it's a professional grade pcb designer software company you can design high quality pcb with advanced routing engine that includes powerful tools you can visualize your pcb in 3d format so immerse yourself in visually stunning photorealistic 3d world of your pcb design with ultim pcb designer start your free trial now links are in the description down below for this project you will need a esp8266 node mcu board dht11 temperature humidity module pir motion sensor a relay module soil moisture sensor rain drop sensor breadboard and some wires now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections Now connect the Node MCU board with your computer. Now download the Blink application, click on open and create a new project. Over here give the name of your project. I am giving IoT Smart Irrigation. Select the Node MCU board. Select connection as Wi-Fi and click on create. Now first we will add gauge. So select the gauge, click on it and give the name soil moisture. Now select the pin as virtual 2 and select the push to 1 second and you can change the color of your gauge. Similarly I will add a gauge for temperature. Here we will select the virtual 6 pin and the value will be 0 to 100 and we will change the color and again we will make it to 1 second. Similarly we will add for humidity. For humidity we will select the virtual pin 5 
select value to 0 to 100 and refresh to 1 second. Now we'll add a button. Now open this button and we'll select virtual pin 0 for it and it will be for PIR motion sensor. We'll select a switch. Now again we'll add a button. Now this button will be for water pump and we'll select the pin as digital 0 and we'll make it switch. We can also change the color. Now we'll add a timer for the same. You can set the on and off time of your water pump with this and it will automatically turn on and off. We'll select the D0 again and at last we'll add a notification so we can receive the alerts. Now this is the code of our today's project. Add all these libraries. You can download it from the Google. So first we'll add the authentication token which is sent to us by Blink in the mail ID. So copy this and we'll paste it over here. Next we'll enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. That's it you have to do. Now select the board that is Node MCU 12E board. Select the port and upload the code. So now I have powered the complete system. On this application you can see a soil moisture sensor ratings. Then you can see temperature, you can also see humidity, then you will find a button to on the PIR motion sensor, then we have a button to on the water pump through our smartphone. Okay, now first we will test the soil moisture sensor. So I cannot bring the soil over here, so I am using water to test this. So I have dipped the soil moisture sensor inside the water, so you can see the ratings is 608, 607, it fluctuates a bit. So when I remove this sensor from here, so you can see the ratings has increased and I've got a message that water your plants because the sensor was dry, it was not in the water. So I will click on OK over here. Now we'll test the rain detector sensor. So as you can see, I've got a message that it's raining. So now I will click on OK. Now you can see a PIR motion sensor over here. So it's right now off. So I will turn it on. So I've turned on the PIR motion sensor. So when I will do any movement in front of it, it will detect it and a message will be sent to our smartphone. So I can See, I have done a moment. So as you can see, we have got a message that is motion detected. So I will click on OK and I will turn this sensor off. So I have turned this thing off. And at last we have a relay module. So I can turn on and off with this button. So as you can see, it turned on. Again, when I click, it will go off. And over here we have the temperature sensor and here are the readings, temperature and humidity. So friends, I hope you like this project then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.